Welcome to the good old days. Today I'm here with Mr. Free, social studies teacher who's also a 1989 Boyertown graduate. And not only is he an 89 graduate, he was his class president. And as class president, you get to take part in a tradition known as the passing of the class lamb. Now, Mr. Freeze, can you explain what that activity involved? So the class lamp was supposed to be passed from class to class. The president of 88 handed me this knowledge and I was supposed to have a ribbon that represented my class colors. And we strung it out or tied it on to this lamp and it's passed from year after year. So the tradition of tying the ribbons onto the tail of the lamp is supposed to represent the passing of the knowledge of the senior class onto the junior class. We do know that the tradition started in 1932 because of an article in the Reading Times, but we counted up the number of ribbons in 2017 and there was 106 ribbons on at that time, which would have taken it back to 1911. So we kind of think that after they started doing it, they put ribbons on the tail to represent previous classes. You know, we were looking at the ribbons and we believe Mr. Freeze's is somewhere in here. His class colors were maroon and cream. Now some of the colors have faded. Did you think at the time you were tying this ribbon on that someday you would make your way back to Boyertown as a teacher? I was not thinking that. And I remember actually when they gave me the ribbon, it was disgusting. And there, at one point it was in a box and mice had gotten in there and were making nests. So they had to then put it somewhere else. And I remember I was actually sick that day, but I went anyway because it was class day. And I remember the secretary saying to me, be careful what you touch because there's mice everywhere through it and et cetera. Now, did you ever see the lamp light up? Because the lamp actually takes two C batteries and, and this bulb lights up. We'll show it for the camera. There you go. And I don't know how old that bulb is. I've never changed it. Oh, I did put impressive. new batteries in there. This is kind of a neat tradition. Now, the lamp to me is not great, but it, if this lamp dates back to, when did you say? 1932. Then that's pretty impressive. So in any case, it's a tradition that still continues today. And watch the commencement on June 2nd as the president of the class of 2023 hands it down to the president of the class of 2024 and continues the tradition of passing on the knowledge with the class lamp. And as always, remember, the good old days weren't always good, and tomorrow ain't as bad as it seems. We'll see you then.